I'm going to present to you my six words of wisdom contained in my book, Happy Executive, Nurturing Mind, Body, and Soul. You can read the whole book free at stemnef.org. My six words of wisdom are goals, time, systems, mind, body, and soul. Let's take first the goal setting. When I was in middle school, my parents asked me what my school goals were. I said I wanted to be the top student like my mother and the top athlete and soccer player like my dad who was a star player on the Indian soccer team. They said, you have got your work cut out for you and you have to come up with a plan. So I devised a plan to study all of my books for the forthcoming school year during the summer so that I had plenty of time for soccer and athletic practices during the school year. I succeeded in achieving those goals throughout my school and college years. So get into the habit of setting goals, starting with simple ones. It will help you to focus your energy, build your confidence, and succeed. Second, time management. I learned from an early age the value of time. Every day I plan my time. Think for a moment. God gives everybody 24 hours a day without discrimination. In the survival of the fittest world, how you decide to use your time determines how healthy, happy, and wealthy you are going to be. The third thing is systems thinking. System solutions are always better than piecemeal solutions. The systems approach is all about setting missions and missions, then goals and objectives, then integrating all available resources in your plan with specific tasks, milestones, and timelines, as I outlined in my book, Management by Systems. Let me give you an example. When our son was 12, he was a top junior tennis player in the nation. He was also admitted to Johns Hopkins University. He kept saying that he wanted to become a tennis player. So we decided to move to Florida so that he could play with the top players year round. Since I was spending time there, I accepted an offer to buy the world famous tennis academy. Then people told me that we can, you cannot create world champions, they are born. But I said that if you provide really talented kids with a system and experiences and motivation, you can guide them, some of them, to become world champions. So I created a total tennis system, consisting of mental toughness, physical conditioning, strategy, and weapon strokes. That means that two or three strokes with which you can take control of points, such as a great serve like uh, Roger Federer or a great return like Andre Agassi. So we brought 50 talented kids to the academy. They went to school in the morning, they played tennis, and worked with specialists in the four systems areas in the afternoon. And they played tournaments on weekends. We also gave free room and board to top tennis pros to practice at the academy so that our kids get to play against them and build confidence. We ended up creating three world champions, Andre Agassi, Monica Sellers, and Jim Curry. Let me cite you another example. In the 70s, 1970s, I used the systems of course to eliminate the hours long waiting lines at the social security offices in Venezuela by changing the payments from offices to banks. In the eight, 1980s, I used the systems of course to create the IT vision for India, working for six months as a volunteer with uh, Rajiv Gandhi, the soon to be prime minister. We created a vision plan that helped to take India to number one in the IT workforce globally. Now, we are applying the systems approach to achieve NEF's digital literacy, STEM, and 21st century skills vision for America. 
Let's take now the uh, three words of wisdom, namely mind, body, and soul. We all have a mind, a body, and a soul. To find true happiness, we need to nurture each of them daily. Nurture your mind by thinking positively and creatively. Instead of getting stressed out when faced with problems, think about creative solutions. Let me tell you, it's quite exciting to do so. Nurturing the body. Nurture your body by eating healthy whole foods and doing physical activities you enjoy doing. This will improve your health by at least 20%. Eat wisely. Beware the four S's, S's in sand. Reduce consumption of sugar, salt, saturated fat, and also reduce stress. Do physical activities you enjoy doing. In my case, since I'm 78, I work out 78 minutes daily, <laughs> doing cas cardio salsa, push-up running, meditation and yoga, including a five-minute headstand, what they call as the king of all the yoga poses. After such a morning workout, I'm ready for the day. Then about nurturing soul. The souls of the 7.8 billion people on this earth are all connected. The only way one can nurture one's soul is by nurturing other souls by being loving, caring, compassionate to others. Remember, souls have no color. 